In this video, we will show you how to replace the Bilstein B3 air spring on the rear axle of a 5 Series BMW E39. Please adhere to the instructions shown in this video. Always replace air springs in pairs. It is imperative to heed the vehicle manufacturer's specifications regarding the renewal of screws and self-locking nuts, as well as the prescribed tightening torque. When replacing air springs, it is imperative to use the vehicle manufacturer's tools and equipment. Air springs are left and right hand parts. Check the association prior to installation. Take the air spring out of its packaging and check it prior to installation. Please refer to the provided installation instructions and check the expiration date. Measure the length of the Bilstein air spring and compare this to the stated maximum length in the installation instructions. Prior to removal of the air spring, the vehicle height is measured and recorded from wheel hub center to the bottom edge of the front fender. Attention, this is only possible if the air spring is not damaged. Lift the vehicle using the lifting platform support points specified by the manufacturer. Remove the wheels. Thoroughly check all suspension components for damage. Switch off the ignition. Always remove the ignition key when working on the air spring. Dismantle the trunk compartment floor and the underlying trim panels. Open the service lid on the right side of the trunk compartment and remove the air supply system fuses. Always wear the necessary protective equipment when working on the compressed air system. Carefully loosen the pressure line on the upside of the air spring until you hear the sound of a fusing air and wait until the residual pressure has dropped completely. Fully remove the pressure line and seal it. Make sure not to bend, twist or squeeze the pressure line. Remove the plug coupling and the upside mountings. Remove the nut on the lower fastening screw of the air spring on the wheel bearing. The air spring can now be removed. The installation of the new air suspension module is analogous to the removal in reverse order. It is imperative to heed the manufacturer's specifications regarding the renewal of screws and self-locking nuts as well as the prescribed tightening torque. Insert the new air spring and install the upper mountings. Install the plug coupling onto the air spring. The locking ring must audibly click into place. Then install the pressure line on the plug coupling. Heed the tightening torque as specified by the vehicle manufacturer. Make sure not to bend, twist or squeeze the pressure line. Lift the suspension using the assembling aid and install the nut on the lower fastening screw. Heat the tightening torque as specified by the vehicle manufacturer. Place the air supply system fuses back into the fuse box and close the service lid. Connect the diagnostic device and establish a connection. Fill the air spring according to the specifications of the vehicle manufacturer. Attention! Never lower the vehicle from the lifting platform with a depressurized air suspension. Check the pressure line connection for tightness. The leak tightness of the entire system must be guaranteed. Install the trim panels and the floor in the trunk compartment.
ensure the wheels are fitted properly. Using the lifting platform, lower the vehicle down to the first ground contact of the wheels and then start the engine. Let the engine run for at least two minutes and then lower the vehicle back to the previously measured level or standard series height with the engine running. Always align the axles after working on suspension parts. Bielstein. Drive the legend.